Hi, I'm Alessio Cavatore, and I'm a great fan of Rock Roar. I'm Rory Benton, of Benton Games, and I'm a great fan of Rock Roar. What's up, Wargamer? Here's Rockro from Fate Central Studio in Spain. Classcraft Games is a Spanish company that makes PVC pre card buildings for war games. The range for K4 can say it's really amazing and they have really good buildings. Now we will show you the Fouquet Bridge 01. It's a really nice building. In this video you will see the product as it is sold, how to build it and how looks it when it's painted. And at the end of the video we will put some shots of the bridge in a table with miniatures so you can see the real size of that building. So stay tuned because you will like it. Deflegamo! Here we have the Fouquet Bridge from Palace Craft Games of the set Fouquet Designer for Kinsey. As you can see, the presentation is really good. Let's turn it around. Here we can see the pre cut PVC sheet and all pieces nicely pre cut. Now, on the upper section, we have the instruction in Spanish in English and also the material we need a working knife, some glue and paint. Actually the presentation is really good. Here in the front you can see how the bridge looks when finished and a miniature beside it so you know how big it is. And in the other section there are step by step diagram how to build it. It's easy to understand and to follow. In this shape you can see all pre-cut forms of all pieces. They are easily to cut out with a working knife cutting through the junction points. It's really clear and easy to follow. If you want to achieve a wooden effect as it shows in the image, you only need a lancet and a metal brush to achieve them. Here we have the K bridge 1. Before beginning work with the sheet, you have to remove a transparent foil it has in the back side, and now you can begin to cut with the working knife all pieces out. Sometimes you have to insist a little more in the corners or in the junction points so you can take them out. Don't hesitate and use the point of the knife. Then, you have to clean the junction point from the inner and outer frames of the main frame of the bridge. After that, with the lancet, you will have to draw all the wood lines on the pieces on both sides. With the metal brush, now you have to brush in the same direction as the wood lines. Now you can glue both parts together with some instant glue. You have to watch out that both parts get together correctly. We will use the metal brush with the railing so we get another wooden effect and remember in the same direction as the wood lines. For the handrail you have to cut all the borders a little out so it looks wasted and used. Then, again with the metal brush, you make the wooden effect in the same direction as the wooden line. For the racer, you have to cut also the borders a little out.
then making again the wooden effect only with the metal brush. With all those pieces ready, now it's time to glue both razors in one frame and making it ready so we can make the main structure of the bridge. When we have glued two of them, we put all pieces together. After that, we can glue the rest of the razor easily between them. Before beginning the texture of the steps, look that they fit correctly in the mainframe. With the measuring route we will make four lines with the same distance between them and then we will copy them in all the pieces. With the line set we will mark now the lines between the planks of wood so you can see them very well. We have also to extend those lines to the small border of the pieces so it looks more realistic and it looks like the planks are divided truly. Then with, the work, then with the working knife we have to clean all the borders of all pieces. Then with the lancet we make a pressure point and draw lines avoiding that pressure point simulating wood effect. We have to do that on every plank. Then we give the final touch brushing all the wooden steps in the same direction as the wooden lines. With some instant glue, we will glue the steps in the mainframe looking they fit correctly. Now it's time to glue the railing in the inner side of the bridge. For the final touch we have to bend the handrail until it fits in the rail. When it has the correct form you can use instant glue to glue the handrail with the rail. And here is the finished bridge. Looks good, right? Here we have the Fouquet Bridge 1. As you can see we have achieved really good results with that. So we can say about the painting. We have used brown and red. Brown for the wood and red for the hands painting. Now, we have used also two washes, black and brown. For the wood we mixed brown and black, 50-50. And gave them some highlights with different browns. And for the red we use only brown wash with other highlights in red so they are, we can make some really nice shadows here, you can see them and our work looks better. Now this material is really easy to work, you can see we can see here all the planks of wood really detailed and how they look after we use the metal brush to work them out. With the washes and the, and the dry brush we get really the texture out of them. They are also irregular, as you can see, and look really good. If we take a frontal look of the bridge, you can see how nice it really looks. Now, beneath the bridge we also made the same, we made the texture, so if the bridge is in some elevated area, and you can see underneath the bridge, it should be looking good like this and finished. Overall, the Plascraft material is really easy to work with and you can get really good results. 
I think you should give it a try because one table with this scenery looks really, really impressive. So give them a try and look them. I really like the final result. Oh no, Dios mío, es horrible. Destruir a los hobbies. No, Dios santo. Oh, las miniaturas. Es que vale mucho del infierno.